Inam, it's good to have you over. It is actually the first time that we are having a racer in the studio here. Yeah. Uh, first so of please, many, hopefully. <laughs> all right, so please tell us, when did this all start? Were you like fond of racing since your childhood or did it start at a later age? Uh, were you inspired by someone? When Lewis Hamilton won the World Championship in 2008, mm. I went to a go-karting track. I liked it. My mum didn't let me do it. Mm -hmm. I had to convince her to let me do it. Then I started from there. Then when I was 12, I was a British champion. Oh when man. I was 14, I was a world champion in go-karting. And then I went to car racing. So. I was a rookie champion in Formula So it Four. all started from go-karting yes, and then every it actually driver, turned into to, the racing thing. You okay, have to so start So that is new for us. We didn't know there were championships in go-karting as well. No, yes. So you early. started really early. Is that the right age for somebody with a passion for racing? Well, actually, start? I think uh, Max Verstappen, the Formula One world champion, started when he was three in go-karting. When he was three? Yeah. I actually started late. Considering oh. <laughs> that, that is quite new. Kya kya mein aaj hum seekh rahe hain ki itni choti choti umron mein ye wale sports mein hain, in mein bhi log start ho jaate hain. Aur inam to khud bata rahe hain ki kitne chote the jab ye go karting championships jeet rahe the already. So professional racing, you started when you were what, 13? Uh, when I went to Formula 3 when I was 17. Seven. And then I was a British Formula 3 champion. There is no age limit. Uh, so what, in are sport? you like allowed to participate in a race at the age of 17? So because I, I probably get a license at 18. Or a consent from your parents. I was Formula 3 champion before I was legally allowed to drive on the road. <laughs> oh, wow. How does that work, basically? <laughs> well, it does, clearly. So, uh, and you have not stopped since. No. Uh, so you have to uh, attach yourself with a motor company. How does that work out? Or how do you present your skills for, you know, to, for you to to get a race car well yes so um, after Formula 3 then now I'm racing in the United States full-time so now my goal is to race in the Indianapolis 500 and then from there inshallah goes Formula 1 basically and then from my results inshallah in the future I'll be picked up by a Formula 1 team That's so you are basically on your way to the Formula 1 yes exactly championship is it an expensive sport do you need a lot of sponsors or Anybody with a passion of with a passion for racing can can opt for it, or is it easy for them? Yeah, here in Pakistan we don't really have facilities, or we don't really have that scope that kids would who inspire or, to be a racer would get that opportunity. You know, no, that I agree. Yeah. But actually now in Pakistan there is. Funnily enough, I was at the go karting track two days ago. A new facility. Is, there state is of the a go, -go, -go karting. And it's a very good go karting yes. facility. And there is one in Islamabad also, by the way. There is one in Lahore as well. Um, yes. But unfortunately, yes, it is an expensive sport. I mean, I've always relied on sponsors, which is why I had to perform. If I didn't win, I, I'm not going to race anymore. So mm. it's been do or die my whole career. But that's why it's. Fun. And do you need a special awesome. training Achha, sorry, for that? Sorry, I have to tell people. Thoi 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 go karting ki jam baat hori hai na, jahan se start kiya. To hamen ye to pata tha ke idhar hai Islamabad mein apparently idhar Karachi mein bhi ek bahut zabardast kisam ka track hai aur wahan se inhone shuruaat ki aur uske baad different tracks pe inhone race ki aur ab ye America mein bhi jayenge aur obviously apna hunar jo hai dikhayenge ye America mein already race America mein hi karte hain bilkul aur 17 saal mein inhone formula 3 mein hissa le liya tha bhai sahab kitni matlab ke kitna aap young umar mein ye start kar dete hain do you need a special training for that this, this no, I mean, racing, sport. you don't get much practice. So it's literally, they just throw you in, and if you're good, you're good. If you're not, then... But so really, you, know. you have to practice something on your own as well, because mm. you don't want to discover your own skill, right, when you are in the middle of the race. I mean, they usually try and spot kids from go-karting. That's how it's worked. Lewis Hamilton, everyone, everyone came from go-karting. And then they sponsor you, and then they kind of take you up. The best thing we can do is on simulators. That's where we spend a lot of time. Of course. In the whole year, we only get 10 days of practice, because it costs the teams a lot of money to put the car on the track for a day and to yeah. actually so physically practice exactly so we do a lot on simulations that's where i spend most that's of the my modern time. way to go about it but exactly. it's a new ah, thing for us to know that simulations ka to pata tha. exactly okay. like, but you know Huma, i discovered it today that <laughs> it actually starts from go-karting this ah, all racing thing Lewis Hamilton. so basically uh, ye jo go karting jo mukhtalif shehron mein pakistan ke at least bade shehron mein to facility available hai wahi se Lewis hamilton type log jo hai wahan se pick kiye gaye hain aur wahan se phir ye duniya ke mashhoor tareen races bane hain so how do you Take care. You have to take care of your health as well, obviously, to be good in this sport or for that matter in any. Yep. Is there any particular diet that you have to follow? Is there a certain weight, weight that, you, that have you, have you have to maintain? You have to maintain a certain weight, but your body has to be strong. 
because these cars are like fighter jets upside down. With all the wings, we pull four to five G. That's the same as a fighter wow. pilot. So the necks have to be extremely strong. Your cardiovascular has to be strong because in the corners, we have to brace as hard as we can. We pull the same G like in a fighter plane. Hmm. So th these cars are It's the same G suit that you- We don't on. have a G suit. So we squeeze our legs to keep the blood in the brain. All to right. Not but I'm much killer, we are just telling them that it's pretty tough uh, as it sounds. Ke, uh, ka isle bhi rakhna hai, jis tarah fighter jet may aapki ek sehit optimum level pe honi hoti hai, usi tarah inko bhi karna hota hai because ye itni speed mein hote hain ke almost ye utni hi speed hai on the ground. Uh, so, since we are talking about weight and when we talk about weight, <laughs> the thing that comes to my mind next is food. So, uh, we know that you don't understand or speak Urdu, but, but are you familiar you with Pakistani, Pakistani cuisine? Of course, my, my favorite food is Nahari. I don't watch what I eat, to be honest. Before I have a race, I eat Nahari. I oh, may what? not be able to speak Urdu, <laughs> but I'm very proud to represent this country, and I do it to promote the country on a good light abroad. And that's why I like to do it. Keep do doing you what carry the flag? Pakistani I will flag. race under Pakistani flag. But this is what we like that. So we need to tell you that one is Pakistani flag, this is Pakistani identity. We are going to take it So what are you doing here by the way? Are you here on vacation? Or are you vacation, here of course. I finished right. my season. I want to relax. I don't <laughs> want to be in... I want to hear... When I come here, it's, it's relaxing for me. It's a difficult time to be in Pakistan. It is, unfortunately, yes. And all. Uh, are there any options where you can raise awareness through your, uh, you know, driving so as well? Yes, I did visit a lot of the flood victims. I went to one of the camps and I wanted to see it with my own eyes what's going on and it's very very sad what's going on and I want to use my platform which I have been doing to raise awareness in the West because unfortunately there's not really been as much coverage as I think True. there could be which is what I'm pushing for a lot and um, that's been my biggest motivation this year uh, racing under that flag and pushing the awareness over there. So Good luck, Inam. Keep you. doing what you're doing and certainly... But, but one question that I really want to ask because I'm, I'm going back to your racing and the kind of speed that you guys mm. have to maintain. What is the maximum speed that one achieves? And also while driving, uh, when you come out, when you're done with your race, do you actually kind of lose weight? Is it... Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so after every race, I lose three kilos in sweat. In after water. every... Every race. After every race. Yes, Lewis Hamilton loses between four and five kilos in sweat because we sweat so much. I had so read hard. that somewhere. Yes, Hence, it's true. Uh, you know, the question so was. I yeah, start the race 69 here. kilos. I finish the race around 66.5. And like, what interval in, in a few hours or a minute? Or uh, one and a half hours. One and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. So, you have to tell me that this race is very strenuous. It is very strenuous that after one race, it is very strenuous. It is very strenuous. It is very strenuous. So, yeah. in the race, when the race is going on, they have so much energy and so much energy burn that their uh, uh, fat or muscle mass is less than 3 kilos. So, Lewis Hamilton, who is a world-renowned racer, says that he has 4-5 kilos because obviously he is going to go to the next level. Yes, Abdullah has told you so much interest. So, the whole idea is that he will lose his weight. So, this is a good way. There are no two seats, right? So, probably, so probably <laughs> yeah, otherwise we gari. would fit in I'm with sure, you. I'm sure you <laughs> got what we were saying. This is not the right way to lose weight. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. So what is the maximum speed that you achieve during? Is there a speed limit by the way? So, um, well, that's... the fastest race in the world is in America, the Indianapolis 500. The average speed is 235 miles per hour. Average speed, the top speed is 245 to 247, depending on how precise you are in the corners. And there is no slow run up. You just start on, yeah, a, you, you know, you, you, know you that, start fast. But that's just like fighter pilots, that's a racing driver's job. We're supposed to have no fear. And our job is to get that, take that machine to its limit and to win. And Simply. you know, at that speed, a minor mistake or, or a lapse can uh, end you or up in a life and death situation. Yeah, but that's what makes it fun. That's what makes it <laughs> 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 but but there of course, are, we can imagine that you have to be totally focused and you cannot be distracted. Of uh, course. You know, but are there enough safety precautions? I'm sure there must be a lot of safety precautions. Yeah, but people still get, mishap. colleagues of mine still get killed and things like that. But, yeah. you know, it's part of what makes the sport exciting. Without yeah. risk, there's no reward. Without well, risk, there's no adrenaline rush? No, oh. definitely not. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right. Thank well, you, Inam. Best being of luck. Thank you, thank you for being here, and we wish you all the good food here that you can try because we oh, know that worry. you like Pakistani food. Nehari. There are a lot of good Nehari options there. in Karachi. <laughs> yes, I heard. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, and best of luck. So there you go. Ab iska matlab bilkul hargez nahi hai ki ab race hai marna start ho jaye. Ye ek professional race ki baat ho rahi hai. Jahan saare hi usna hote hain. Ye matlab de tayari inki usna hoti hai. Inhone प्रिकॉशनरी uh, बहुत होते हैं और एक ट्रैक पे होती है तो ये सड़क पे नहीं कर सकते आप